Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And another Becca Martinez video to bring to you. She's uh, talking about why she's taking a short break from the internet following uh, the fallout from people that were not happy that she uh, eats rabbits. That's right. Oh, boy. She says, I'm thinking a lot about how I want to share our kids and family on here in the future. Uh, because she has um, had to deal with issues that are far greater than just not liking what she is doing, but people questioning her motherhood. Bachelor star Becca Martinez responds to criticism for letting kids play with their food. Um, and of course, that's the first video we had on the subject matter where she posted a photo with her kid holding a white bunny rabbit. And of course, that rabbit will be farmed to the table. Uh, and, um, you know, We've talked uh, about she just announced she's pregnant again. And, of course, Becca's big on the Internet. She's a big Internet person. Yesterday, we posted this, that she's responding to the fan backlash regarding the wellness check they want her to take. Well, today, she furthers that conversation. Here's a screen grab from a Bachelor account called Bachelor.Clown. They posted this and said... Um, Bunnies aside, I feel like her kids need a wellness check. I'm not saying this to be mean, but Becca really has concerning content all the time. So the idea of a wellness check, as Becca has illustrated, would be a vast misuse of the social services of of, of uh, social workers, right? I mean, what did Becca do? What did Becca Martinez do that would require people to question her as a mom, to question the kid's safety? You can't just send a wellness check to somebody because you, or a welfare check to somebody because you have different political views or social views or they uh, get their food, their meat from a different source than you do. Do you know what I mean? So I, I, I got to side with Becca on this one that the speculation that she should have somebody call CPS is a bad look because, you know, that can lead to, that'd be like encouraging someone to call the cops when you're not committing a crime. You're asking for a situation to escalate when it doesn't need to very clearly. So I guess you got to knock, you know, place a knock on bachelor.clown. Now, did they say explicitly, let's rally people to go get CPS called? No, they just said the, they implied that, you know, we should probably check on our kids, which again, maybe if it was said in a jokingly way, you could have a case there, but it seems like they're actually doing the, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just concerned type of thing. So here's what Becca has to say in response. And I just wanted to share, like it wasn't because uh, people were disagreeing with me or even saying I was crazy or even saying I'm a bad mom, like that kind of stuff, par for the course I, I'm used to. In all truthfulness, I... Uh, actually got like really kind of activated and, and upset by that one, even though it was just a passing comment, um, by that one comment by the bachelor account saying that my kids needed a, a welfare check. They said wellness check, they meant welfare check. Um, it just really, I, I, I don't want to sound dramatic, but I think people don't really understand what sometimes internet people creators can really go through like I shared about uh, wheelchair Rapunzel's um, having CPS show up on their doorstep multiple times since their baby was born because of people on the internet reporting them um, I think online criticism and hate is completely something that is par for the course with the job and especially if you're someone who likes to post controversial content but um, something that I just it's just, I don't think people understand how whole groups can take it to another level and they'll band together to really try to make someone's life on the internet a living hell. It took me back to a time where people were making horrible, horrible claims about me and I don't want to get into it, but like literally thinking about it starts to give me like an anxiety attack. It was a really, it was just really dark. Um, and I was being harassed by hundreds of people um, on the internet who were making threats, and it was it was legitimately scary. And I 
I don't doubt her. And look, here's the deal. People can become entitled when they consume content. They feel like that person owes them something because I gave them my time. Well, look, if Becca's got a million followers and, uh, you know, you don't owe her anything. She's making content out there and you're enjoying it in one way or another for its entertainment and or information value. If that weren't the case... You wouldn't be watching. Now, if you're hate watching somebody, I'd argue you need to find better, healthier things to watch because you must have a lot of bitterness in your life. But I kind of relate it like when you have that many followers, people will find a way to uh, mischaracterize you. Now, the interesting thing with Becca is she's been on a bunch of crusades to, I don't want to say mischaracterize others, but she's definitely been in that place where she's been on the team of rallying around to, uh, you know, to fault others for it, maybe since they've made. And I think what she's probably realized is that it's a, it's a, it's a no win. It's an unwinnable game because everyone's done things that are wrong and we're all trying to learn and grow from them. That's called being a human, a spirit trapped in a human body traveling around the sun. We're all trying to do better than we did yesterday and tomorrow better than today. And that's, how we're all trying to have our spiritual evolution. So Becca's on hers. And again, if she's placing her kids in danger, if she's not aware that you should buckle your kids up when you're driving and she's got them on the hood of her car, yeah, call CPS. But that ain't the case. So people will abuse these services. I'm pretty tough about that kind of stuff. So here is a video she posted of Brianna Media. And she said, if you think I'm exaggerating, just read, reading the caption in the comments from other creators kind of shows how real this can be. Brianna Media, I've covered a bunch of times on my channel. I'll even pull it up right now. If you just search Dave Neal, Brianna Media, you'll find all of the content I've made. Influencer decides to hire a detective and gets revenge. She didn't dox anyone with their addresses. She basically found all of the all of the people that have lied about her, knowingly or unwillingly, and she's exposed them to say where they live and what their occupation is. And by doing that, by labeling her anonymous accusers, it, it created a fair playing field. A lot of people don't agree with this, but it would almost be like if... Becca, you know, as a public figure, didn't like Bachelor.Clown and found out that it, that that account was named Rebecca Thompson and she lived in Albuquerque and she's a, a therapist. Then you would want to hold Bachelor Clown to a status as a therapist and say, hey, you do better. You're, you know, but when we're anonymous, not saying that that account is, I don't know who it is, but when we're anonymous, we really can get away mischaracterizing, slandering and all that. But in this epic 38-minute video, Brianna Media calls out all of her haters that have spent years uh, uh, taking her to the brink of suicide, where she felt self-harm was the only answer, and she decided she wasn't going to take it any longer. Very powerful thing going on out there. So then Becca posted this. Also, the thing about the internet is that you... You can pick out the four to five least flattering things someone has said or done over the course of years, maybe even embellish a little, and compile a summary of any person that makes them sound horrific. I remember reading one report of me that said I neglect our animals and force our children to endlessly travel places without naps or any breaks, among many other much worse claims. People who didn't actually follow me were like, wow, this person sounds like an awful human. And it was something that was circulating to the point that irk friends were sending it to me. Anyway, I just wanted to share that because that's like a very real aspect of being on the internet that can be, um, honestly, and, and I don't use this word lightly, like a little psychologically traumatizing. And so I've just had a lot of those feelings from past experiences bubble up um, just from that, that thing of the person making the comment about my kids needing a welfare check. So anyway, I've just been kind of meditating on my online presence over the last couple days and I'm going to take a few more days off. I just wanted to get on and post this and kind of share what I'm experiencing. And, um, and yeah. And, and also I got like, I always get people sending really nice messages. So I always appreciate that too. All right. So she got nice messages too, but it's kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back here. Right. So maybe bachelor dot clown didn't make the most heinous post saying, I feel like her kids need a wellness check. But the implications to that could be very dangerous, being that it's traumatizing for the kids. Or what if, I mean, what if, I don't know, what if, what if she calls for a wellness check and Becca's out on her front lawn smoking a joint and then they decide to take the kids away? Well, you know what I mean? Well, you shouldn't smoke a joint around the kids. Well, maybe the kids are in the back. Maybe Becca's got, maybe she's off duty. I don't know. 
but it, you can just you can just see how it, it it's it can be very scary to to be accused of these types of things. She then said, not asking for pity at all, but just wanted to share what things can feel like behind the scenes. I'm so aware of the privilege of having such an amazing job and also really wonderful people who follow along and are so supportive. So she has to post this aspect to say, well, I am grateful. Becca, you can be grateful and people shouldn't have the right to accuse you of being things that you are not and accuse you of needing your kids to have a wellness check when in fact you have done nothing that warrants that. So if we're going to, you know, I, I like to think our channel, if anything, is just here to to calm the fires down. I'm not trying to get anybody canceled. I'm not trying to expose people for being subpar this or that. I think everybody's trying their best, okay? But I also think Becca's learned a lot. I mean, look, you can look at the way she used to... She, I always remember the fight she had with Leo. You remember Leo Tatavio, whom I do know, and she kind of made him out to be a real shitty person. And and, and maybe, maybe, maybe you think Leo is, but chances are he's trying to do right, call his mom, give her a Mother's Day gift, trying to be a good guy. Chances are he's trying his best and it might look differently than you or somebody else is. And I'm sure Becca would probably reevaluate the way she dealt with that conversation since now she's been on the receiving end. Does that make sense? So someone had commented on her story and said, your feelings on this are totally valid, but in acknowledging that you post controversial topics, you have to acknowledge that you're inviting these horrible people and bullies to target you in ways that are often uncalled for. You got to protect yourself and pick your battles. Despite enjoying start of starting divisive but, un, but interesting conversations might not be worth it. Becca's response was, yeah, although I can truly say from watching other creators, even the most neutral creators have people that come for them with 10 times the viciousness. You truly can't win, so I'm just going to keep doing me and also working on my impulsive tendencies to really think about how I'm inciting reactions. Really, truly, it wasn't about people getting mad about the rabbit post. I totally asked for the range of wild responses and the way I brought up the topic. Just a welfare check comment really caught me off guard and brought up a lot of old stuff. I'm thinking a lot about how I want to share our kids and family on here in the future. Totally my responsibility to be an adult and accept that people are going to get upset when I impulsively post jarring content. And also other adults have the responsibility to not turn into insane harassing stalkers when they don't like a stranger on the internet. Yeah, folks, just unfollow and move on with your life. Let me know what you guys think. In our case, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to join the Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'll be live at 10 a.m. this morning for some content. Plus, as always, we've got the podcast today, baby. Katie Thurston joined me for an interview. She mentions brand new things you've never heard from her about growing up, what it was like, uh, where she comes from to where she is today. You're going to love this conversation. That is available today exclusively at bachelorrushhour.com.